when I had the stroke, I was in a coma for the three days and I woke up and my husband said I was trying to say something, but he didn't know what I was saying. I couldn't walk. I couldn't even talk. And after that, I don't remember for a couple days. This side of my body felt frozen. A stroke happens when a blood clot blocks one of the small arteries in the brain. Patients can have aphasia, which is a language disability, as well as inability to move independently that greatly changes their quality of life. When I went around in a wheelchair, I felt like I wasn't going to be a good mother to my children. I ended up retiring because I couldn't do anything. Drums. You know, that's what I want to do. Yeah, well, I love it, but I can't do it. Physical therapy is a great way to start stroke recovery process. However, to have it in a repetitive and an individually structured exercise program is what we need. I was uh, on a thesis using certain sets of motors, and these motors had unusual capacity to turn off and turn on pretty instantly. And we developed the first robot, which we trialed, and very soon we saw that it was pretty effective. We have robots to improve arm function after stroke and leg function so that we can help people to walk better and navigate their environment better. The patient's looking at a screen and they're aiming towards targets on the screen that correspond to points in space. The focus for engagement was great. It's like a video game and you constantly are getting the benefits of it. It was a challenge, but you gotta do it. You gotta do it and you gotta get better. We developed a system where the patient has haptic or sensory feeling that there's somebody on the other side of the robot actually encouraging their movement. It helps you push yourself harder when it's all over you, like, I want to do even more. So the robot's providing a sort of a perfect learning environment where you get over a thousand movements in an hour of very precisely timed input as you need it, and that translates to improved function after stroke. After using the robot, I was able to walk faster. I've seen my hand, it's uh, not as tight, maybe me move my arm a lot better. So now I can like touch things and move things, and I can walk. It's very clear that almost every patient will regain more motor function after a session with the interactive robots. They're now recognized by the American Heart Association as a form of stroke rehab, and now we're trying to work to improve that even further with other technologies. The idea is to use the uh, transpinal direct current stimulation to optimize the wrist and hand movement. We can quiet the spinal cord down during a certain period so that the motor system can take over. During that therapeutic window, we are seeing a response of those muscles um, to have significant reduction in that tightness, and we're very excited for what that could mean functionally for the future. I remember when it could hardly move. Now I can move. I'm very lucky. And good people here, too. The team here I can't think of anything better about being a part of their research. Working with them has been great. It makes me think that there's hope. <laughs> this is a very exciting place to be because the growing concentration of engineers and new devices with the molecular biology and the clinical medicine I think will allow us to uh, generate new information about making patients better.